hypergamy is your thing do not mind me let go if you're destined to be in a hypergamous relationship if that is all you want to do who am i to tell you what to do go ahead Welcome to Life with Mampaya. My name is Judith Adams. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe down below. If you are a return viewer, thank you for coming back. I really appreciate you. I do. <laughs> yes. So today's episode, we are talking about hypergamy. Hypergamy is marrying or forming a relationship with someone of a higher class, standard, or education. So I was inspired this week by Eva Nelson. She made a tweet uh, that, and I'm just gonna read that right now, that went, um, marry, some marry for the money, others for the passport, others for kids, others because of a banging body, etc, etc, air. Do people still marry because they love each other or because one is intelligent? Or does everyone now have an agenda? So basically, um, this inspired me to talk about this. And what she's talking about is basically hypergamy. Hypergamy is, like I explained earlier, marrying someone or forming a sexual relationship with someone of a higher class. So basically you have an agenda, um, forming a relationship with this person. There's a benefit and an end goal to being with that person. These days, social media has influenced a lot of youth out there, especially girls, to form this some of form of relationships with with people older than they are and sometimes they go through a great deal of disasters <laughs> just forming this relationship. So I couldn't help but ask myself um should younger girls be actually this time in errors should younger girls still be doing this what influences them to go through this what what is the problem what is going on there is there not education of diseases that are out there isn't anyone scared but i ended up my research on the fact that there's this thing called um or oh, what can i can i can i tell what it is leveling up Yes, uh, living the soft life. Uh, there are other terms to it. Embracing your femininity. And I, I could keep going on with the names. And this saddens me each time younger girls falls into these traps. I would never frown on hypergamy. Some people tend to be successful. Some relationships like that tend to be beneficial. That, that helps others to grow. That has an impact and leaves people of whatever mindset so this is just my two cents i have no right to tell you what to do and what not to do but then this is just my opinion you could take it you could leave it but it will help us especially you the young girl watching this if you take this now first of all when you are forming a hypergamy relationship you have to know who you are what do you want what do you tend to benefit is that what you really want is that who you are would you be happy choosing that life or wanting that life what are the pros and cons on choosing the high life another thing i would mention is before you form your hypergamy relationship please look at your goals in every relationship we go into we all have goals is is am i just going in for this for fun do i want to marry the person do i want a child from this person what is my reason what is the end goal what is the reason why i am coming into this the other thing is thinking about what you would deal with 
there is no way there is no way absolutely no way you are going to be with a person with higher education so much money more than a million dollars in the in in his or her account without having to deal with a lot the age difference the age gap the lifespan everything so when you're getting into this relationship you have to look at what you are going to deal with this person has lived almost all their lives had all the fun they needed to have to been to all the places they they want to go now they're just like living there businesses and sometimes guess what they are usually that busy so you end up with a man he will not see you often even if he marries you you're basically just gonna be a housewife and he will not come around so think about what you would deal with are you strong enough to deal with this another thing I want to mention is your morals and values what are your morals and values are you really a family person would you be able to break some certain rules of yours to be with someone that has totally different mindset from you are you okay being with someone that you wouldn't have a say they basically pinpoint and choose where to go what to do and what not so your life revolve around dears since they are the sole providers at home or in the relationship another thing i want to mention is companionship and this is the big one you really have to click with someone to be able to form a relationship with this person or that person what happened during the covid with people getting fed up of each other because they were locked in in a house and they, they hadn't even had time to deal with each other people had confessions that i almost wanted to like strangle my wife because she talks a lot or she does this and that and that is that what you really want do you click with this person do you have a life are you attracted to this person do you have conversation how fun is it to be with this person so companionship is one thing you should also look at not really the kids not the money not all the glamorous life the person is offering you or the society says that the person might offer you you have to think about companionship too another thing i want to talk about is what time and life you are going to be wasting wasting actually waiting for this big person this person with the money who would give you all the things you want the designer clothes that you want on this planet how far how how long can you wait because <clears throat> I know people have been able to be successful in this but most guys that are really really successful I'll tell you a secret it's hard to get them it is hard to get them they have a type mostly they also want girls that come from money if they want to marry you they want girls that come from money or has money on their own or has a specific feature they would not be able to find in any other girl you have to stand out you have to be different of course a suitable bachelor with more than a million dollars like a millionaire or a billionaire Oh, it's gonna be tough looking at the situation of Cristiano Ronaldo with Georgina he had all he had all the women that he wanted he picked Georgina because she stood out she wanted a family too she was a next-door girl that lived simple that he felt he would have life with who didn't mind being a housewife and not doing anything aside just leaning on this person but guess what you are not Georgina it worked for Georgina and Georgina too just didn't just sit down there and then found him she actually found Ro Ronaldo at work she was working she was a sales girl when she met him so she didn't go around chasing if it's going to happen it is going to happen does luxury and the soft life really tell with your happiness do you find happiness in it don't get me wrong if you find happiness in it go for it go for it 
but you know what at the end of the day after acquiring all this luxurious stuff and this lifestyle you might not be happy can the person make you happy except buying you stuff how lonely will you feel if the person has to fly to all this business meeting meeting other girls because that's what happens when they are that rich they have girls in every continent they can they snap their fingers and girls are running after them so even if you end up marrying one god help you you're gonna sleep in the designers and all that but guess what you wouldn't be happy and unless you want to be happy with the designers or if the designers satisfy you in one way or the other that is totally fine i mean there's a saying that people would rather cry in a bentley or a ferrari than to cry in a nissan well makes sense but is that what you want the biggest effect of it all when you don't know how someone acquires something when someone you don't know the source of one's income do not even go in for them do not sometimes it's hard it is hard because you haven't built these resources with them because you don't know how they got them and basically they are looking at you as a gold digger don't forget they know you want them for a reason sometimes they know that like oh she's too beautiful to be with me and sometimes they become even insecure about it but where you and I come from in Africa there is something called rituals men will use you for rituals like that if you happen to be alive even after they've taken your destiny your luck whatsoever you are lucky but what if you die because there's a story out there about a girl dying after this man took her message and did what she wrote these stories before she dies but are we really learning if they have all this money and they acquired it through all these things and they are not using you for rituals and whatever guess what such people they will leave you like that look for your own money what is better than having to not ask anyone for anything be financially independent there is no freedom compared to being financially free when you work you bring your own money in you do not depend on another life is great for you because some of these men they will more treat you and not even that when the relationship is over they will leave you with absolutely nothing they wouldn't leave you with a penny because sometimes they get mad it's like she's leaving me um i'm not gonna let her take my money they divorce you with nothing you are not working you're not doing anything so they cut you off so even before you get into this hypergamy relationship or hypergamous relationship please make sure you are financially stable there is no legit source of income that one can come in with a million dollars a year just like that the only people that can come in with a million dollar just like that is either you are an athlete an entertainer uh you you the the guy probably just um became successful with an app <laughs> like zach <laughs> you know or most resources these days are not legit god forbid you might end up marrying or being in a relationship with this person get arrested or the person will get arrested and you are stuck you will be stuck because you gave your whole life up because you fell short for for those things let's talk about this comment down below let me know what's in your mind is it okay to be in a hypergamous relationship have you been in one do you think 
the girls or the guys should keep doing whatever they are doing because that's what society wants i would like to hear from you and let's talk about this let's chit chat 